Good morning, 99.1 Joy FM. Nick and Sandy here. It is time to unveil today's mystery substitute teacher. Class, let me introduce you to, is it doctor? Is it professor? Is it Mr. Jeremy Camp? <laughs> Woo! Professor, that is actually um, my PhD in uh, math. So I'd love <laughs> to share with you some of the intelligent things that I've been able to uh, learn throughout my career as a professor. Would you like to hear some oh, of the things? Oh, please, yes. please. He's taking this role very seriously. <laughs> I like this. <clears throat> All right, kids, I want you to open up your books to page 50. You ready? Okay, open up your books. Hey, Billy, quiet over there. Quit distracting Sarah. Okay. All right, you ready? Here we go. So if one day there were 10 chickens, they were roaming around the land, very happy. Mother chicken was very happy with her baby chickens. And there was 10 of them. But then one day, Mr. Fox came and ate two of the baby chickens. It's very sad, actually, very sad. But then Mama had four more baby chickens. How many baby chickens are now their total? Come on, guys. Nick? 12? Yes! Well done, Nick. You get a gold star for today. <laughs> well, I thought wow. this was a trick question. I, me I'm too. Like, I was waiting for a, what color was the fox or something. <laughs> That was what I've learned during my, my years of professor. So, yeah. That was very well done, Jeremy. Really? Did you have a favorite class? Was it math in school? Yeah, I was actually pretty good at math. Really? So math and English, yeah, are the two favorite subjects. Isn't that crazy? And it's my been... daughter, my oldest daughter, who is, she'll be 16 in a month, which is <laughs> crazy. Um, she's really good at math. So it's kind of fun. Hasn't it, hasn't it been funny, Nick, how many artists have said that they've liked English? Yeah. I would have never, I mean, it makes sense now that I think about it, right, but. Writing, creativity. Yeah. yeah. Writing, yeah. Creative writing. Creative writing is what I liked. With three kids at home, what does the season of back to school look like for your family? Is it any different than other years? Honestly, for us, it's not any different. I mean, because we've homeschooled for years, so it's just kind of a continuation of what we do. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing that's going to be different is that you, they usually travel with me and we're not all traveling at all. So I'm going to probably be more involved this year than ever before. So that's going to be fun because I've not been able to, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, but it is funny because my girls are getting to the point now, especially my oldest daughter where she's kind of surpassed me in math where I'm like, I don't have a clue. She's like in calculus or something. That's what it feels like. I don't think she is, but it probably just algebra, but it feels like calculus to me. <laughs> well, that's when you can always grab a guitar and say, well, can you do this? <laughs> and then she got on the piano and go, can you do this? And she's, oh. Oh, yeah. She is, you guys, I can't even tell you, it's been amazing to watch my, both my girls, which hopefully you'll be hearing the songs. They both wrote songs during this time and unbelievable. Like, I'm kind of ready to kind of pass the baton off. I mean, I don't feel like I'm done yet, but I feel like I'm kind of the point where now it's the next generation I'm pouring into. And so you guys will be so blown away. So I'll try to send it to you if, if you don't end up getting it, but just so you can hear it, it's incredible. Or at least you'll hear it online for sure. Well, they couldn't have been like doctors or they couldn't have done anything other than music, could they? I mean, come on, with you and Adrian? <laughs> what was crazy is my youngest daughter five years ago pulled me aside and said, Dad, I don't want to do what you do. And I was like, oh, that's totally fine. Like, she goes, I just, I, I don't want to be in front of people. I don't want to do what you do. And about two years ago, she was like, dad, I want to do music. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, which is really cool because I didn't push anything at all. And so I know for her, it was something that she felt like she was called to do. And so she feels like she's called to do music. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's pretty brilliant. Well, now, Jeremy, you mentioned you guys are, are pro homeschoolers. A lot of people have home school this year and, and are not pros. So right. what's one thing that comes to mind that you could say, OK, here's a tip or here's a hack or here's a, Help you the know, rest of us out. yeah. What's your tip? My tip would be if you have young boys, so because I have a young boy that are have a hard time focusing, especially at home, because there's a lot of distractions at home. Literally try to do a thing where you say, hey, let's go out in time and see how fast you are and, and run them to their actually where they're tired kind of. And then they start to focus, they get all that energy out because they, they've been sitting around cooped up at home and, and, you know, they're not used to being at home and having to sit still. And so literally do a, a thing where you have them race and try to beat their time. Like say, OK, see how fast you can run this, you know, this sprint. And that literally works. It kind of wears them out and gets their energy out and they can focus better. So that's a little hack for my, my son. 
I don't know if that helps, but that's right. <laughs> have you done it for? <laughs> I've done it for myself and it works. Right. I can't yes, focus. Yeah. I, just, I, to do that. <laughs> I just go sprinting. 